Hey everybody, it's Suzanne. I am kicking back in my room, kind of up against the ma master bath entryway <laughs> because I did a video earlier on my bed, which was actually pretty comfortable. This isn't too bad because I can lean against the wall, but um, the lighting was coming like straight down on my face and it actually looked really scary. It's like my eyeballs were shadows and um, like every wrinkle and every little thing on my face was showing so I was like we'll do we're gonna do a do-over so thank god the video wasn't that long anyway hi everybody I just wanted to come on and give a real quick video regarding um what's been going on with me as of late not a whole lot but I did watch a video of uh, one of our girls out there in TTC land and she's on her two-day bed rest and she was begging people to make a video because she really liked watching them and I totally get that because I was on bed rest for like three or four days and I'm sorry two or three days and um, I really that's all I did just laid on the couch with my iPad and watched videos so I thought well I don't know if she's watching any of mine but if she is I'll go ahead and give her an update just to entertain her I mean I think anybody else is watching hopefully you'll um, I don't know be entertained or learn something or something you can relate that's why I watch them because I usually can relate to what someone's going through. I go, oh, I'm not the only one going through that. Okay, so here's where we are. Um, it is Saturday, and on Monday morning, I go in for my beta test. I have been taking home pregnancy tests, and not a one of them have showed any sign of being positive. I was feeling pretty sure yesterday that we were going to get a negative on Monday. So, um, my insurance lady um, called me. She's actually a, a fertility registered nurse. And I was telling her, you know, well, it doesn't look like this IVF worked out. And I know the insurance isn't going to cover my former uh, doctor, you know, or clinic. So, I need to get a list of clinics that um, I can go to. These centers of excellence is what they call them. So, she's like, I'm so sorry that didn't work out, Suzanne. She said, um... Well, um, she kind of asked me something that triggered me to tell her, oh, no, 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 I haven't gone in for my actual blood pregnancy test. That's not till Monday. I'm talking about home pregnancy test. And she was just like, okay, wait, wait, wait. When was your retrieval? And so I looked it up on the calendar, and I told her the exact date. And she told me that actually I just needed to calm down and that um, – Home pregnancy test may not necessarily be picking up the HCG level. So I needed to go into my appointment on Monday. She's like, you need to go for sure. I was like, well, I was never not going to go. Um, but I just kind of figured I would go in and get my negative result and say thank you very much and go on to my new clinic and start over. <laughs> so she was like, well, I don't want to give you false hope. She said, but you really need to go get your beta test. So I don't know if anyone is at home in their two-week way doing pregnancy tests every day, sometimes twice a day like I was doing. Well, I kind of still am. But um, maybe this will help you to know that not everyone, because I have seen some ladies on there like three days out before their beta test, they're like, oh, look, a little line. Oh, it got darker. Now it's getting darker. Um, I guess that doesn't necessarily have to happen for everybody because I was thinking, oh, well, you know, if you don't have a couple, you know, a couple days before you go in for your beta, if you don't have a little small line, then you're going to get a negative. I guess that's not necessarily true. No spotting, no bleeding. I've had no symptoms. You know, the breasts are still a little tender, but not even as bad as they were before. So that's kind of subsided a little bit. I think I may have even mentioned that before, but I don't know. I just wish I had a symptom, but I don't have one. So what are we going to do? But we've actually been, uh, my husband and I have actually been out this weekend. Today, as a matter of fact, for something like four or five hours looking at new cars because um, I have a sedan and I was telling my husband that um, there is no way I'm going to be reaching in the back of that car and pulling a baby in and out. I needed something a little higher and so we've been looking at several different cars and actually a couple different sizes because, excuse me, if you have one baby you can deal with one size car and then if you have two, you need to get a much bigger one. <laughs> so we've been kind of all across the board. But it's been fun. It's been fun. But that's how positive we are. Uh, if it doesn't work this time, we'll just go to the new clinic and start over. And uh, 
you know, actually I'm pretty excited about it because one of the clinics that my insurance company was telling me about, I did a little research on them and they have a really high success rate, especially for my age group. So I'm kind of interested to go check that out. You know, they were talking about the labs and like the clean labs and how important that is. And I got to thinking about it and I was like, you know, I didn't even ask about my labs, like, you know, the incubator and how many people's embryos were in one incubator because how many times that door is open and closed and what kind of things are in the air because they have no, those embryos have absolutely no um, protective system, nothing to protect them. So anyway, I was just like, wow, I, I needed to probably look at that a little bit more. This, this guy was saying um, about 50% of the success is going to happen through the stem process. And then uh, the other 50% is the actual lab, how well the lab is run and stuff. And I thought, well, you know what, that really makes sense. So I'm going to need to check into that. But my test, my test, my test is going to be on Monday. And um, I guess they'll call me that afternoon and give me my positive or my ne negative. Um, I'm totally prepared for a negative, And if I get a positive, then, well, totally great. I will just... I will fall on the floor. <laughs> I really will. And I will get on here and tell you guys, you don't need to be ever thinking anything about what's going on. Because I've heard some gals saying, oh, you know, my body tricked me and I didn't know or I thought I was and I wasn't. So I guess you just don't know. But um, I'll know Monday. I'm ready to move on. So I'll let you guys know how the pregnancy tests work out. Um, I will also let you know about our decision on our new doctor and the new clinic and if I learned anything with that. Oh, and I did um, almost have a freak out because I didn't do a three-day transfer. I did a five-day transfer. And the doctor had me start my progesterone like two days after my retrieval. And I was freaking out because I got to just reading some stuff and making some of my own conclusions. And I thought that maybe my doctor had me start on progesterone too soon because I didn't have a three day, I had a five day. And that there was this like window of opportunity for the uterus to, to accept the embryo. And because I started too early with progesterone that it messed it all up. No, I did find out that the progesterone injections or whatever, however you're doing your progesterone um, suppositories, whatever, but that needs to start about two days after your retrieval. So I was so relieved that um, to hear that actually. I was getting pretty upset. You know, I guess that's the bad thing about uh, reading stuff and looking looking into things and only having half the information and not all of it. But my nurse at my insurance company is awesome because she is, like I said, she's a registered fertility nurse. And she's totally there. Like, I spent an hour with her on the phone yesterday. My fertility, my fertility clinic doesn't even do that with me. You know, I have to call, leave a message. They call me back and I'm like, yes, can I help you? And it's like, uh, yeah, do I need to do this? Uh, yes, you do. Don't stop until we call you later. Okay, thanks. No explanation why. No, you know. I, I just do what I'm told to do. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, but that's going to change, actually. I'm going to start asking more questions and, and understanding a lot more. So, anyway, wish me luck. I'll let you guys know on Monday if we're preggos. Okay? Baby dust to you all. Love you all. And happy, happy, happy time.